kiria gituma nye diori mi dhino wa mtu ulire wako wa nidayo wa goro na nidi hota kakua guiga nidi ya shia na shia kwa gea kulea ene nyone tawa luduku walera todu hida lirale ho tela nidirale nidire kura uraga ane kura uraga ikimera ine na ole ukutida ula leudio anere ya lumono Lera ni dia sejak dia muno, tadu aku kabar ini berani aku raga berani nene muno, nanti hanya aku kira kira aja ka, nari orang kira orang ini nene muno, najoi kehua, aku adu mak aku masih nikita muno ni mai. We combine affordable distributed renewable energy with services and financing to help smallholder farmers take control of their lives, create climate resilience, increase incomes, and not have to run to major cities because they don't have jobs and opportunities at home. There's a need for solar power irrigation because farmers in this area depend on lanes and they are off grid. They, they are not connected to electricity. One of the most uh, enjoyable things when we install a product to a customer is the impact it has on their livelihood. They're able to put food on the table for their children, they're able to educate their children, and they live a healthy life. They don't need to travel very far to fetch water. This project is fantastic in terms of meeting and, and hitting all the spots that the GCF is looking at. One, it is it's driven by demand on the ground. It, combines both mitigation and adaptation elements so that first it's reducing potential uh, pollution by using renewable energy but at the same time strengthening resilience of the most vulnerable people. So support from organizations like GCF is critical for us because money coming from people who understand what it takes to solve problems within the climate crisis is way more important than just money. So we're super grateful for the support. It's a partnership approach where the sponsor of the project works with a number of partners to make sure that the farmers get a holistic support. As a result, they're able to increase their production for both their household sustenance and also to increase their incomes. And the impacts are clearly visible from even just talking to the farmers. But Sun Culture is not just about irrigation. Irrigation helps farmers increase their incomes, it helps them grow more food, it helps create resiliency around communities. You know, if 26 million smallholder farmers in Sub Saharan Africa had solar irrigation, we would be able to grow enough food to feed every single person in the entire world today. So we're looking at this in terms of creating climate resiliency, but also solving these other big problems like food security. Kiroto <laughs> kwa